Greetings folks, welcome to my Diablo 2 modding series and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a custom skill which appears on a unique item. Sounds interesting doesn't it? Before we get started make sure to subscribe to not miss any of these useful tutorial videos and also get more knowledge about modding your own Diablo 2. Let's get started. Starting off we need a few files to start with. First we need the missiles, the skills, skill desk, Unique items, cube main, scar sets, and miscellaneous. So starting off, you need to uh, search for the Diablo Fire um, projectile above here somewhere. You just need to type the right name here, and then you need to copy it and uh, make it into a new raw here. And here you need to rename it because multiple uh, named Missiles will not uh, work with each other, so you need to rename into a new one here. On to the next one, you need to find the Diabfire named scale, which uh, which is the Diablo Noah thingy, you know. Here's the same, you need to rename it to a different name. It can be anything, you just need to know this scale is different from the uh, original one. And ending up a uh, consecutive number. It's gonna be the same number, it should be the next one. What I made the change here is uh, from the server missile A, it's a different missile, so I removed it and uh, copy and paste it from the missile file because this is a entry column to many, many files. So copy and paste it here, and here is one more, right here, the client missile A. The exact same uh, projectile. Next up, uh, I've removed the SQL uh, thingy to either A1 or SC. SC is for spellcast, A1 or A2 is for the attack animation. For the level requirement, I only typed minus 6, so it shouldn't have any level requirement on that item. And the rest is the same. And also, don't forget, we're gonna jump into the skill description. Let's create a new skill description. I copied this one and put it right here in the skill description. I uh, only copy pasted the unsummon row, which is the number five, and then copy paste it here. The rest, what I modified is the string names. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is open up your uh, string table Adding a new key, it can be anything. The point is, it should be the same, the exact same, what it is here. So if it's a capital, at some point, it should be the exact same word or anything. If it's not, the game is not gonna recognize it. This is the name here. And the uh, string name and string alt. String alt is present the character sheet. And this is the name, the actual name of the skill. And these two are the description. When you hover over your mouse, of course. Also, make sure at the end of every single file should be a zero. If you're not using this one. But just in case, use a zero at the end. On to the next one, I'm using a uh, unique item, which is a test weapon. I copied the, the Gnasher from the top row and I made the change here like you need to uh, type all skill the name or the ID of the skill the range between the number this is the parameter between zero or anything any number I only type one between three and between the swing or cast cast one it should be arranged between 0 to 100 and then save it as well. On to the next one, cube main. This is a uh, custom cube recipe. This basically makes any weapon into a unique item. This is only what the change is here. Um, next up we have car stats. This is where you can edit your basic character statistics like 
when you um, go to Nightmare or Hell, the resist should be reduced by a certain amount of percentage, you know? Or which or what items you should be starting with upon creation. So you need to type box at each of the end of the character's lines by uh, typing one at each of the lines here. Just because you need one cube here. And the misc is for just finding for the cube here. Only uh, check the code row here. This is where you can identify the items code or ID. And that's gonna do it. I'm here with the brand new cube. Here's the hand axe. And there he goes, test weapon. As it says, it has 92 cast rate and two new skill for newbies. And here it goes. When you go out, you'll see some monsters, you just cast it out. Boom, they are all dead. You see, it's kind of OP to be honest. And it's really easy to farm. If you want to increase the range for the scale, you need to go here and go for, I don't know, 500 for the range, because the range will increase the uh, projectile's duration. And here he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, we leveled up. What the fuck? This is insane. Well, probably you could use this as a uh, beginner skill. But it's still uh, kind of overpowered, to be honest. But yeah, this is uh, what I could show you in this uh, episode. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of short tutorial for you. So thanks for watching and see you later in the next episode. Bye bye.